I am a cyborg, and cyborg comes from the union between cybernetics and organism, and that's how I feel. I have a visual condition called achromatism, which is total color blindness. My antenna is a body part, and it allows me to hear colors. So it has a color sensor that picks up the light frequencies in front of me, it sends the light frequencies to a chip at the back of my head and then the chip transposes the colors into sound waves. So I hear color through bone conduction. Which is the program? This will be a short documentary on, on the internet and uh -huh. it will be about colors. Colors? Uh, hearing colors or I don't know. Which is your name? Neil Harbison. Neil Harbison. Yeah, I can write it down if you want. I don't feel that I'm using technology. I don't feel that I'm wearing technology. I feel that I am technology. I feel no difference between the software and my brain or the antenna and any other body part. The software is a part of my mind and the antenna is a part of my body. I convinced the doctor to have it surgically implanted and oh, now right. it's just inside. And now, is it? Yeah. Is it? Oh wow. So it's an antenna implant. Yeah. So you have that on all the time? Yeah, it's permanent. It's a body you part. Don't take it off when you go to bed? I no. sleep. I sleep with the antenna. I take showers with the antenna. It's just a new body part for me. Wow. So having new senses on new body parts will create new conversations between people and it will be conversations about their perception of reality and about senses. They are also interested in knowing, for example, how their face sounds. So I, I just scan their face and tell them how they sound. So it, it creates conversations that I would never have had with people if I didn't have this sense. So before I realized that people made connections between things or objects and I could not see the link between these two objects. For example, the color of the sky and the color of someone's eyes. I mean, in the grayscale world, there's no connection. Now that I can hear color, I have such connections and connections go beyond that as well. Because also when I hear sounds, I can relate the sound to an object or a color. So if I hear the G sharp of a taxi, like the horn of a taxi that to me is related to a uh, lime for example because it sounds just like a lime i used to think that humans were black and white and since i hear color i've, I've detected it's completely wrong there's no black skin people that say they're black they're actually very very dark orange and people that say they're white they're not white they're actually very very light orange as well so we are actually all sharing exactly the same hue the same happens with cities people say cities are gray and this makes me realize that maybe people are colorblind because cities are not gray. There's no gray in cities. It's almost impossible to find gray. If they look closer, they'll see that it's not gray. It's usually unsaturated brown or unsaturated blue. There's always some hue, there's always color. Times Square is one of the most exciting places in the world. I think it's just music every wall you look at. So there's maybe 20 different electronic concerts going on at the same time, in the same space. I love it, it feels very special. Color for me is an energy that moves so fast that I can't see, or it moves so slow, maybe, that I can't see. So it's an energy that keeps bouncing all over the place and that people can actually see and then they have names for it. Now I can't see it, but I can hear it. And it's, it's still the same for me, it's, a, it's, a, it's an energy.